Wars have been fought on many fronts as humankind struggled with sources of clean, renewable energy globally. Today, instead of building a weapon of mass destruction, science has now figured a way to solve the impending energy crisis. By tapping the potential of the neutrino, we will herald in a new era. And there the neutrino voltaic technology come in the game because this is exactly that what we are doing. So we are, have developed a converter. The converter works because we have two different materials which have a, a gap in the moving. So we have a graphene, it's shaking around, and we have the lithium, it's very stable. So the graphene is shaking 100 times stronger than the silicium. This is necessary because we need something what is move. And if somebody asks me why it's move, there's the, probably hundreds of answers why it move. We gave the name neutrino energy at that time, but we know it's not only the neutrinos what lets the graphene shake. There are many, many influences. But we don't care about why it's shaking, we care that it's shaking. And on the basis that it's shaking, we understand we found it. We found something to use the power, the energy, what is con now we are able to convert all this energy into electrical power. When we, when we think about neutrino detectors, we're thinking about something big because of the small probability of interaction. An incredible new invention that could revolutionize the way we power our world, the Neutrino Energy Power Cube. Stick around as I explain how this cube could generate free, unlimited green energy using an unexpected source. To understand the Neutrino Energy Power Cube, we first need to learn about neutrinos. Neutrinos are tiny, nearly massless particles that are constantly streaming through our bodies by the trillions every second of every day. They come from the sun and other stars, as well as radioactive materials here on Earth. Scientists have now discovered that when neutrinos interact with certain materials, they can transfer a small amount of kinetic energy. This is called the neutrino voltaic effect. One key material they interact with is graphene, an incredibly strong yet thin material made of carbon. Engineers at Neutrino Energy Group in Germany had the brilliant idea to use this neutrino voltaic effect to develop the world's first neutrino voltaic, the Neutrino Energy Power Cube. Inside this cube are layers of graphene that capture kinetic energy from neutrinos. This captured kinetic energy is then converted into electric current through a process called neutrino induction. While the amount of energy from each neutrino interaction is tiny, trillions interact with the cube every second. This constant stream provides a continuous baseload supply of green electricity. And best of all, the fuel is completely free and renewable, neutrinos streaming through from the sun. In this video, I'll explain in more detail how the cube works share updates on its development and testing, estimate how much power larger cube arrays could produce, and perhaps most exciting, discuss plans for commercial production and estimated retail pricing. This has potential to disrupt the entire energy industry. We'll also look at some of the challenges in developing this new technology, such as improving energy conversion efficiency and making the cubes more powerful. Neutrino interactions are currently very weak, so capturing usable amounts of energy takes ingenuity. I'll explain the work underway to overcome these hurdles. For the renewable energy sector and supporters of green technologies, the Neutrino Energy Power Cube represents a dream come true. If it can be mass produced affordably, it would provide humanity with the ultimate form of clean, limitless energy straight from the sun. No pollution, no carbon emissions, no fuel costs, ever. In the following sections, I'll delve into the cube's inner workings, sharing artists' renderings and diagrams to help visualize this breakthrough technology. 
we'll learn about the special graphene materials and induction process that converts neutrino kinetic energy into electricity. I aim to explain it all in plain terms, even a high school student could understand. From there, we'll look at the extensive research and testing already completed on early neutrino energy power cube prototypes by university labs and independent engineers collaborating with the company. I'll review some of their published white papers and test results to validate its feasibility. Next, I want to forecast just how transformative this technology could become if scaled up. Researchers estimate that a one square meter array of optimized cubes could generate up to 10 kilowatts, enough to power a typical home. Larger solar-sized arrays might one day provide countries with limitless zero-emission energy. Of course, mass production of these cubes faces substantial challenges that will require further research and funding. I'll explore some of the key hurdles around efficiency power density, graphene synthesis, and large-scale manufacturing that must first be overcome. If and when those milestones are achieved, we can expect to see real-world pilots and eventually commercial rollout of neutrino energy power cubes. Based on typical technology adoption curves, I'll offer my best guess as to timeline and pricing models for early consumers and businesses eager to be the first to benefit. We'll also discuss societal and policy changes this breakthrough could enable. Imagine a world powered entirely by neutrinos, with no need for polluting fossil fuels or land-intensive solar farms. What might that mean for energy independence, national security, environmental stewardship and more? The implications are profound. Neutrino Energy Group faces immense hurdles, but their scientists display relentless optimism, creativity and dedication that could change the world if successful. Their story inspires hope. In closing, I'll reiterate how Neutrino Voltex represents a truly revolutionary paradigm shift that finally allows us to tap ubiquitous ambient energy constantly streaming through our planet. With continued progress, neutrino energy power cubes may one day let us power civilization from the stars above, free and without limit. Thank you so much for watching this introduction to the exciting field of neutrino voltics and neutrino energy power cubes. I hope you now understand this technology's immense potential to sustain humanity while protecting our climate and environment. Be sure to subscribe to stay updated on my future videos exploring green innovations. Thanks again and take care.